ಶ್ರೀಮತಿಪುರಾಣಾಲಂಕರಣಾಲಯ ನಮಾಯು ಭಕ್ತಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವತ್ಪ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿಹಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣಮೂರ್ತೆ ನಮಃ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ ಸದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರೀಕ್ಷ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಮನಕ್ಕೆ ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾಹಿ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಮ ಪೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಶಾ ಭೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಯೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ವಿಭಾತಿ ಗುರು ವೇದಾಗಶ್ಚ ಪ್ರಹಿಣೋತಿ ತಸ್ಮೈ ತಗುಂ ಹೃದಯ ಆತ್ಮಬುದ್ಧಿ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಂ ಮುಕ್ಷುರ್ವೈ ಶರಣಮಹಂ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಆಮ್ನಾಯಾಂತೈಕ ಸಂಸಿದ್ಧ ಆದಿಮಜ್ಜಾಂತವರ್ಜಿತ ಆನಂದಘನಮಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಯೋತಿಸ್ಮೇ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಟ್ ದಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪಾದ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೊ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಸೆಡ್ ಮುಕ್ತೋಪಸೃಪ್ಯ ವ್ಯಪದೇಶ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಟಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ ಫಾರ್ ಮುಕ್ತ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಾನ ವಿಚ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ನೋನ್ ದಿ ಆಧಾರ ಆರ್ ಆಯತನ ಆಫ್ ಜೂಭಾದಿ ಲೋಕ ದಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ನೋನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ even if it is upasya and brahmaloka prapti is the phala as per the puru pakshi the ayatana is upasya even then it has to be brahma although we say that it is jnana kanda brahma is to be known and mukti by knowledge is revealed in the upanishad rahasya therefore <coughs> since such teaching is there in the shruti therefore the ayatana is brahma the next sutra is introduced by saying siddhantam abhidhaya pradhana paksham nishirati now siddhanta has been mentioned that it is jnana of adishthana brahma which leads to mukti brahma veda brahma yo bhavati mukti of the muktas of the jnanis now that is the siddhanta having mentioned the siddhanta pradhana paksham nishyati why can't it not be pradhana that is sutra tah nishidhyate through the sutra it has been refuted we have seen in the vritti we have seen by corollary since brahma is attainable brahma is attainable by muktas therefore the adishthana which has to be known has to be brahma paramatma now pradhana possibility is refuted through this sutra nanumanam atat shabdat nanumanam atat shabdat so na anumanam atat shabdat atat shabdat is a single word anumanam na what is anumanam anumiyate iti anumanam what is derived it's a karmani utpatti what is inferred is anumanam so anumanam is not inference anumanam is what is inferred what is anumi anumiyate anumiyate iti anumanam so what is inferred is anumanam what is inferred sankhya parikalpitam pradhanam pradhana is inferred by the sankhya sutras the rishi says something there in the sankhya shastra says that is all smriti so there sankhya parikalpitam not even if you look at it anumanam inferred inference is what basically uh, the tarkika does not consider arthapatti as a separate pramana vedantins mimamsakas both purva and uttar mimamsakas have six pramanas arthapatti is one of one among them and sankhya uh, the tarkikas consider the arthapatti kind of a pramana as antarbhavita in 
as included in anumana itself and what is arthapatti arthapatti is a kalpana anyatha anupat anupapatya kalpana otherwise it is not possible therefore you imagine something the example stock example there is diva abhunjanasya devadattasya peenatvam devadatta who does not eat food during the day because you have never seen him eat food you have been roaming around with devadatta for quite a few days two three days it's okay you know maybe somebody is used to upasa two three days it's okay and and he is fat he is stout he is a stout fellow who may be able to live two three days without eating because the body will eat up the fat but he remains stout so peenatvam the stoutness of this devadatta continues to be even after multiple days of not eating food during the day so anyatha anupapatya what is the anyatha anupapatti since stoutness is not possible without eating food not eating food during the day without eating food and since devadatta does not eat food during the day therefore you do the kalpana of the ratri bhojanam devadattasya ratri bhojanam kalpyate is imagined kalpana is done and that is arthapatti pramana tarkika will include this kalpana in anumana pramana itself now sankhya parikalpitam due to whatever reason they may have some kind of a pramana going on there pramana vyavahara some imagination going there they may call it as pramana they may have some logic there we do not deny that they don't have logic but is that logic having a basis in shastra that is the question here in the nyaya prasthana brahma sutra the question is not whether you have logical logic or not you may have logic so do we so does tarkika sankhya each of the darshanikas has some logic or the or the other because tarka is the basis for everyone to discuss you cannot set aside tarka completely but just because logic is there it's a it's like a sword that cuts both ways with a appropriate hetu or drishtanta if the other cannot counter it to tarka any which we used wins over but our analysis is whether the tarka is appropriate as per the shastra if it is going against the shastra then that tarka is useless it may appear logical but it is useless so sankhya parikalpitam even if it has some basis in tarka even if it is based on अनुमान और अर्थापत्ति एस पर मीमांसा प्रधान नुभाध्यायतन प्रधान इज नॉट जी आयतन ऑफ भुआदि ध्यू भुआदि इट इज नॉट दी त्रैलोक्य आधार कुछ वाई शब्द अतच्छब्द इज नंज तत्पुरुष ऑफ तत्शब्द सो दैट इज एक्सप्लेन अतच्छब्द तस्य अचेतनस्य प्रधानस्य प्रतिपादक शब्द तत्शब्द सो तत्शब्द इज समासा एंड देन अतच्छब्द इज नंज टू दैट निगेशन ऑफ दैट व्हाट इज तत्शब्द तस्य शब्द तस्य शब्द इज तस्य अचेतनस्य प्रधानस्य तस्य प्रधानस्य बेसिकली प्रधान इज व्हाट अचेतन दैट प्रधान ऑफ संख्या व्हिच इज सांख्य परिकल्पित प्रधान तस्य तत्स्ट फॉर प्रधान विच इज सांख्य परिकल्पित विच इज अचेतन सो तस्य 
प्रधान से अचेतन से सांख्य परिकल्पित अचेतन से प्रधान से प्रतिपादक शब्द तत्शब्द दैट तत्शब्द इज प्रोनाउन दैट स्टैंड फॉर प्रधान एंड सच कैंड ऑफ अ वर्ड हैज नॉट बीन यूज देयर फॉर न तत्शब्द अतत्शब्द दैट प्रधान शब्द हैज नॉट बीन यूज वेर हैज इट नॉट बीन यूज इन दि शास्त्र इन दि श्रुति नॉट इन दि सांख्य शास्त्र इन दि श्रुति इट हैज नॉट बीन यूज तस्मा प्रधान प्रतिपादक शब्द से इह अश्रवणात इह श्रुत इन दि श्रुति मुंडक श्रुति और एलसुवेर इन वैश्वान श्रुति ऑल्सो इन एनी ऑफ दि श्रुति प्रधान हैज नॉट बीन हर्ड एट ऑल इट हैज नॉट बीन टॉक्ड अबाउट सो इफ इज देर एनी वर्ड विच कुड स्टैंड फॉर प्रधान नो प्रधान प्रतिपादक शब्द से भी नॉट ओनली प्रधान लिटरली शब्द बट एनी वर्ड देर फॉर प्रोनाउन हेज बीन यूज एनी वर्ड दैट कुड स्टैंड फॉर प्रधान ऑल्सो हेज नॉट बीन यूज प्रधान प्रतिपादक शब्द से इह तस्पी अश्रवण प्रत्युत तद्विपरीत चेतन प्रतिपादक से यज्ञ सर्वित इत्यादि शब्द से श्रवणादीन वॉट हेज बीन हर्ड इफ प्रधान हेज नॉट बीन हर्ड एज दि अधिष्ठान वॉट एल्स हेज बीन हर्ड इन ईच एंड एवरी श्रुति देर इज सम गिव वे ऑफ चेतन वस्तु एज अधिष्ठान प्रत्युत सो इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ मांडुक मुंडक श्रुति तद्विपरीत तद्विपरीत सांख्य परिकल्पित प्रधान विच इज अचेतन अचेतन विपरीत चेतन प्रतिपादक से यज्ञ सर्वित सर्वज्ञ अज्ञ शब्द धातु शोस चेतन वस्तु ज्ञान इज पॉसिबल ओनली इन चेतन अधिष्ठान नॉट इन अचेतन सर्वित दिस वेद ऑल्सो इज नॉट पॉसिबल दिस वित्व द नोइंग kriya if you call it as a kriya the knowing kriya is not possible in a dhatu dhatu rupa kriya basically since it is dhatu it is kriyatmaka so knowing is also from the dhatu angle it is a kriya it is not a karma as per mimamsa both purva and uttar mimamsa but from the dhatu perspective it is a kriya because dattyarthaka kriya is what movement and what is movement jnana dhatu is movement because jnana takes place if you take an individual there is some change in the antakarana that vritti is undergoing modification so at the vritti level at the antakarana level there is kriya going on it is a subtle kriya but nonetheless there is a kriya therefore it can change a person knowledge can change a person completely just by knowledge so much change can take place thereby sarvajna sarvavit e are these words which are chetana pratipadaka shabdas literally chetana has not been mentioned so pradhana literally has not been mentioned but pradhana pratipadaka shabd is also not there that which stands for pradhana is isn't there even such word isn't there but chetana pratipadaka shabd is there sarvajna is stands for chetana sarvavit also stands for chetana vastu इत्यादि शब्द से श्रवणादीत बी अचेतन प्रधान के नॉट बी आयतन ऑफ युगवादी लोक ननु तरह शारीर अस्तु युगवाद्यायतन सो लेट दि त्रैलोक्य आधार लोकत्रय आधार लेट इट बी शारीर जीव बिकॉज शारीर जीव इज चेतन हाउ अबउट दैट सो सेपरेट सूत्र टू डिस्काउंट इवन सच कैंड ऑफ एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग नी शारीर अस्तु आयतन फॉर लोकत्रया तस्य चेतनत्वाद बिकॉज तस्य शारीर से जीव से चेतनत्वाद शारीर जीव इज चेतन and if you insist that chetana is the ayatana for lokatraya then sarvajna sarvavit can stand for 
Chetana, so can Shariraha stand for Chetana. Thereby, Chetana can be Jiva who is Adhishtana, but can he be Sarvajna? Yogi says Sarvajna Tvam is possible, then Sarvavittam is not possible, is the refutation which we have seen earlier. Therefore, Tasya Chetana Tvad, if you argue, says the Siddhanti to the Puro Pakshi, <coughs> then Chetana Tvadi Yoga, because Yogyatvam is there, Chetana Tva is there in Jiva Sharira, Iti Ashankyaha, Prana Vritcha, Prana Vritcha. Pranabrut cha. Pranabrut is what? Pranam vivarti iti pranabrut. One who sustains prana. Who is that jiva? Dhatu jiva itself is jiva. Pranadharane. That which holds prana is jiva. That is a dhatu meaning itself. So pranabrut cha na. Why? Atachabdat. This no and Atachabda has anurutti in the fourth sutra also. Prana vrutcha na jubhadhyayatanam kutaha atachabdat. Because such word is also not heard. Ji jiva pratipadaka shabda as adhara or adhishtana for lokatraya has not been heard in the shruti, has not been stated in the shruti. So prana vrut. Jeevaha Shariraha Jubhvadhyayatanam na bhavati. So Pranabhru Shariraha api na Jubhvadhyayatanam kutaha atachabda deva. Same hetu which has been used in the third sutra stands here as good. Atachabda deva. Shariraha sarvajnyatva sambhava. Because Shariraha cannot be sarvajnyatva. They cannot have sarvajnyatva. Cannot be sarvajnya. Jiva cannot be Sarvajna. One of Jiva, maybe, but Sadharnataya, not possible. One of Jiva in the sense, as we said, we have seen earlier, a yogi who has Siddhis may have Sarvajnyatvam generally, but Sarvavittvam is not possible. He cannot know details about everyone, each and every detail, like Ishwara can know, Jiva cannot know, even as Siddha cannot know everything about everyone at all times. So we should use all sorts of Visheshanas there. One of someone knows something, knows everything about someone or knows something about everyone. All these kind of possibilities are there or at some time he may know but knows everything about everyone and everything all the time in all avasthas with such gunas which will follow Due to that, all such things are not possible in an individual jiva, be a siddha. Even an avatara purusha cannot have such. That is why we, we see in shastras as you know, Rama had these many kalas, Krishna had these many kalas. As an avatara, there are some kalas, there are some, some ausha, is an ausha, avatara is an ausha. So entire Ishwaratvam is not possible. And entire Ishwaratvam, we mean that in all avasthas, at all times, in all deshas, in all ayu, in all uh, stages of life, all this we have not seen in any avatara, let alone in a non-avatara jiva who has got siddhi due to some mantra aushari ityadi. So, sharirasya sarvajnyatva asambhavat. Atachabda deva. And atachabda, why does Shruti not talk about it? We know that this this Sarvajnyatva has been talked about that Sarvajnyatva is not possible in Shari Rajiva. Therefore, not possible. Shari Ra cannot be the Adishthana. Tat Sadharana Atma Shabdha Atat Shabdha Tat Sadharana. So, what is that? Then, tat stand, what does Tat really stand for? Meaning, what is that which has been talked about? Sarvajnyatva, that is Atma Shabdha. So, Sarvajnyatva Asambhava in Sharira and if you look at the Sharira also is what basically if you say Sharira Jeeva Atma Shabda, Atma Shabda is Atat Shabda, Sharira is Jeeva and Jeevatma is not Atat Shabda, it is Tat Shabda which has not been talked about but then Atat Shabda, Atma Shabda has been talked about which is 
not individualized atma it is brahmatma so this atma shabda is sadharana to everyone but if you individualize it it is no longer useful in analysis of sarvajnatvam sarvavitvam therefore what has been said in the shruti in the shruti the atma shabd has gone tameva ekam janata atmanam okay by the way uh, let's this reminds me there is a correction yesterday i said tvam janata that tvam is out of place it's a plural this janata is late lakara so it is a chandasa prayoga another way to say chandasa prayoga is late lakara every lakara can be seen as late lakara in shruti even if it appears to be vidhiling or lat lakara all that is late lakara and late lakara is in vidhi meaning vidhi mantra na mantra ityadi but vidhi primarily vidhi in this shruti everything is a vidhi vidhi or a nisheda vidhi nishedatmakam vedah so veda is vidhi nishedatmaka so janatha there such form is not seen in the loka so janatha if you look at the bhashya uh, there भगवान भाष्य कर से जानीत जानीतमी this th is right in plural uh, madhyam purusha bahuvachana but the form is not janatha vidnyadhatu in vidhili you will get janita that th is replaced by th by uh, whatever swami ji and uh, and his teacher mata ji used to call as uh, dancing sutra so those who have studied uh, with swami ji or mata ji they know so tasta samipam tam tam tama is the sutra so there tha will be replaced with tha you get janita and it is bahuvachana so what i am saying is that that tvam was wrong i said tvam janita it is yuyam uh, janita janita which is basically the meaning for janata so tameva ekam yuyam all of you janatha atmanam and this atma is sadharana which basically what sadharana actually tat sadharana if you look at tat एलस्वेर भगवान भाष्यकार से तत्ति सर्वनाम तत्ति सर्वनाम इन व्हाट इन तत्त्वमसी आल्सो तत्ति सर्वनाम एंड व्हाट इज सर्वनाम सर्वनाम स्टैंड्स फॉर सर्व सो तत् स्टैंड्स फॉर सर्व तस्य भाव तत्त्वम देन तत्त्व आल्सो आई थिंक परहैप्स नॉट इन तत्त्वमसी बट इन तत्त्वम देयर ही एक्सप्लेन्स व्हाट इज तत्त्वम तत्त्वम इज द रियलिटी ऑफ एवरीथिंग व्हाई बिकॉज़ तत् स्टैंड्स फॉर तत् बीइंग सर्वनाम स्टैंड्स फॉर सर्व मीनिंग एवरीथिंग so tasya bhava tattva means the bhava of sarva sarva bhava ityartha so tattva is equal to sarva bhava which is reality of everything very beautiful derivation and you know how how bhagwan vashakara hand holds us and takes us to the meaning so whenever you see tat it stands for sarva it is brahma taditi brahma and that tat sadharana since it stands for everything that atma shabda is atat shabda साधारण न तत्शब्द न प्रधान शब्द एंड न शारीर जीव शब्द बट अतत शब्द आत्म शब्द हैज बीन यूज बाय से जानथा आत्मानम शारीर निरासे हेतवंतरम आह त्रिविस सूत्रै ही थ्रू द नेक्स्ट थ्री सूत्रस भगवान सूत्रकार gives hetu to refute sharira as a possibility of trilokya adhar loka tray adhar so we'll just uh, look at the three sutras first 
uh, any vritti small we look at in the sequence i'll just chant the sutras so that we can go through in meaning then bheda vipadeshat bheda vipadeshat prakaranat prakaranas स्थितनाभ्यांच स्थितनाभ्यांच सो भेद व्यपदेशा सिंगल वर्ड भेद से व्यपदेशा जेर इज व्यपदेशा टीचिंग उपदेश व्यपदेश उपदेश वॉट इज टीचिंग बाय दी श्रुति ऑफ भेद for the upasaka and for an ajnani initially bheda is taught we have seen earlier also there is a bheda between jiva and paramatma there is no question about it if there is no bheda in the beginning itself if abheda is accepted in the beginning without inquiry into it who oh, shruti says it i have shraddha if the shraddha is there such shraddha is there then we would rarely be born into kali yuga the shraddha is there you will you know everything will drop suddenly everything will drop and one will walk out to nothing that doesn't happen so even if one claims that i have shraddha still the loka takes you each and every anubhava each and every vasana which has been left by earlier anubhavas they drag us so for such masses where we also belong bheda is taught initially the shruti accepts accepts bheda because without bheda sadhana is not possible without sadhana samadamadi is not possible without which jnana is not possible because the chitta remains ashuddha then there will be only a possibility of jnana abhasa there will be jnana abhasa possibility not even abhasa a possibility of jnana abhasa may be there but jnana won't be possible therefore bheda is accepted as laukika satya vyavaharika satya and then through that vyavaharika sadhana is taught where by parma kanda and upasana kanda as well as jnana kanda will have a place because there will be sadhana even in jnana kanda upasana even in jnana kanda and there has to be bheda between the guru and shishya till one is absolutely able to understand in such a manner that ajnana is uprooted along with its karya therefore bheda between jiva sharira and brahma paramatma has been taught tam tameva ekam janata the same mantra e mundaka mantra where we said that tameva ekam janata atmanam in that mantra tam eva ekam Yuyam janatha, may you all, he, Bhagavan Bhashikara says that, hey shishya ha, oh shishyas, may you all know. So he is, even in Bhau Vachana, he is talking to each and every individual shishya, Shruti is talking to each and every individual jiva, he says, eka jiva, there is no other jiva, that Bhau Vachana is, you can say, manarthe or you can say, it is all uh, kalpita, but the Shruti says, you know. in english it is very clear you all is not needed there you know is equal for bahuvachana dvivachana and ekavachana so may you know that atma now this sharira jeevatma is ashtu no the atma that cannot be jeevatma karma kartru virodhat so what should he know he should know that which he does not know yet what he knows is himself reflexive he knows that jeevatma which he is she is he imagines himself to be this that is what he knows i am this kind of a individual atma and if he does not know himself as a sharira by upachara by rhetoric by you know the way one converses one says you know i am a 
man i am a woman i am uh, uh, i belong to this kind of a varnashrama i have this kind of a karma i do this duty i have this job whatever so all these are ideas are there even for a sadhaka even for a uh, even for even for an astika that astika knows that i am different from the sharira although he uses that language that i am a man still he knows that i am separate from the body therefore sadhana is possible otherwise what sadhana what karma kanda is also possible for someone who thinks that is a sharira by saying that i am a sharira jeeva that means that sharira shariram asya asti shariram mama asti and that is not raho shirovat shasti it is not tadatme sambandha when he says that i am a sharira jeeva limited by sharira the sharira is different from me is known even to a karma kandi otherwise after all such efforts of doing so much of karma upasana karma antargat upasana and so much of effort with so many of so much of wealth accumulation for karma to accumulate all the karakas for those yagnyas homa dravya ityadi by spending so much and doing that much of karma where the phala is not in it is not at that time it is not that purnahuti is done and phala is there immediately so whatever that phala is swarga phala brahma loka ityadi phala or merging with the ishta devata by upasana all this is in time sometime some janma maybe immediately after this after this janma but not in this janma it is not aparoksha here it is all paroksha if one did not know oneself as separate from the sharira the sharira goes away it, it dies away it withers away and then it is burned finally it is a final ahuti given by relatives so that basmi bhutasya sharirasya punaragamanam kutaha says the uh, charvaka so similarly this karmakandi will become a charvaka if he thinks that atma is not different from the body so all that effort would go waste all the effort of karma and all the sadhanas for karma accumulating the sadhanas for the karma all that He is because he knows that I am separate from the body, and I will get this phala after this janma, after this body drops off. It becomes bhasma. After that, I'll get some phala, so I'll live on. That sharira is taught tam tam atmanam janatha ekam janatha. You know that one atma. This fellow knows that I am not one because he has. Uh, married another sharira for all the karakas that are there in the yajna so he is also one karaka he is a kartur karaka yajmana then he have all the sadhanas all the others his spouse is there then all the ritviks are there all these are part of the yajna the homa kunda is also homa and then devata all these are part of their dravyas all part of the homa yajna and then this fellow he knows that all these are there separate individuals are there sentient and insentient both are there part of the karma i am one individual sentient entity who will attain something that bheda is there prapaka prapya bheda is there he knows that i am a prapaka and there will be prapya something after this body drops off tam eva ekam whatever that prapya is there that is atma atmanam janatha so bheda is taught clearly there is a prapya prapaka bheda the attainer sharira jeeva is different from the attained atma so the attainer atma is different from the attained atma that attained atma is parmatma this is sutra arsa tameva ekam janatha iti even in the jnana there is bheda taught then you inquire into the entire upanishad you will know that abheda is taught through bheda otherwise if this fellow is said that there is nothing to know 
you are everything he knows nothing to know how step wise he has to inquire and it should be manana siddha therefore the teaching is through bheda there is a teaching of abheda it seems like a viroda how can you know it it seems very contradictory that how can abheda be taught through bheda <laughs> there is no other way keno upanishad says that the acharya himself says the shruti says in the shruti shruti paraphrases the acharya says that we don't know any other way there is no other way we don't know how else to teach this is the only way neti neti is the only prakriya through which we know how to teach there is no possibility of pointing out oh look at this this is atma this is paramatma this is brahma you cannot point out because it is it is actually the swarupa so that way it, it should be aparoksha but being aparoksha it appears paroksha so very difficult to even explain why it is not possible to teach you cannot objectify simple reason is you cannot objectify the subject cannot objectify himself as a subject the subject never remains as an object as soon as you objectify the, a new subject is born you try to objectify yourself even in dhyana in dhyana or japa if you are doing something i may have given this example earlier if you are doing some japa the mind wanders let's say for most of us the mind wanders you have to bring it back now you don't know how much time has lapsed let's say you are using a mala and doing japa the mala rolls on japa is continuing the mantra japa is going on you know that you are because you have rolled the mala let's say as soon as you hit the the meru you know that you have finished the finished the count let's say it's 108 mala you have finished 108 so you know that shata is over when you have hit the meru but you also know that you have been thinking something else let's say planning the day oh, i have so much to do during the day i have to travel oh, am i late uh, will i reach in time all this planning is going on while you have been rolling the while the hand is rolling the japa mala while the mind is chanting or you are let's say you are chanting loudly the loud chanting is going on while at the same time the thinking is going on without the manavritti the manovritti of the mantra the chanting cannot take place loudly also so that is going on the hand is rolling the mala plus you have been thinking about something else so how many us are there really how many eyes are there in an individual forget about other jivas being there or not this individual jiva himself is full of so many eyes inside i in sense english i so many ahams inside so this fellow knows aham i am the one who is doing japa he knows that i am the thinker also i have been thinking i am the one who is ruling the mala but the ruling the mala and the japa karta is not different but this aham japa karta and aham manta thinking planning the day they are same and when he realizes that i have hit the meru and i have been planning the day i have not focused on the mantra being a dharmika he feels guilty oh i should have done better next time i'll do better let's say i'll chant a little more i'll do another mala and i'll focus there so now who is the one who identified that the mind was wandering because it is not that you have hit the meru and you knew only then that your mind was wandering even when the mind was wandering the japa was going on so there is another entity who is watching over these two as to the wandering mind as well as the chanting mind so the one who is sitting behind is who so if you inquire into that as to oh how did i know that i was chanting as well as i was having a wandering mind planning the day that i is the real i if you inquire into that i another i pops up so the idea behind this is that the japa karta is one object ji as soon as you know then the japa karta becomes an object he is no longer the subject ji manta is also another object then the one who is watching over is his sakshi if you say as soon as you inquire into that oh who who is that entity who watched over these two as soon as you look at it he 
you inquire into it becomes an object so as soon as you try to inquire into the sakshi the sakshi who cannot be objectifies is thrown out into the antakarana as a vritti and then the real sakshi remains a subject as long as such objectification is there the subject will separate out and there will be a division so there will always be a division if you inquire into it as the object cannot objectify the sakshi can never become an object as soon as you force the sakshi to become an object you yourself become a subject and you have separated yourself out from the sakshi so sakshi becoming the subject to objectify the sakshi as an object itself is a dosha in sadhana there it cannot be done so tameva ek ekam janati it is only through the process of the shruti that na na iti so there is no other way to teach says the kenopanishad acharya there iti jnatrujnya bhavena so tameva ekam janath this atma you the atma jeevatma sharira all of you and we'll take individual there may you know janath janita kim kim janita kam janita atmanam janita that atma is different so jnata sharira jeevatma and neya is atma vichatma paramatma brahmatma sadharana that tat tat sadharana atma shabda that shabda stands for whichever entity paramatma you know that jnatru jnya bhavena jiva parayor bhedena so jnatru is jiva and jnya is para is jnatru is jiva and jnya is paramatma so jnatru jeevatma and jnya paramatma are different this is how it has been taught bhedena vyaparishyamanatva ityartha because such bheda has been taught especially the answer of the siddhanti is to the purva paksha who thinks that this atmanam janatha is an upasana so there they the upasaka upasya bhavena also there is a difference and from siddhanta jnatrujnya bhavena also there is a difference why because you have to know the paramatma you cannot say that paramatma and atma there is no difference so i don't need to know shruti says so yes but then it will remain paroksha jnana unless manana is done on to this as to how aikya is possible the aikya which has been taught how it is possible between a limited and a limitless entity how can there be aikya this is the subject of inquiry without such inquiry bheda has to be accepted as being taught then prakaranat what is the prakarana there kasmin nu bhago vijnate sarvam idam vijnatam iti upakramat brahmana eva idam prakaranam so mundaka shruti was tamevekam janatha then which is the mantra is the mantra is 2 2 the tamevekam janate is mundaka 2 2 and kasminnu bhagavo vijnate sarvam idam vijnatam vijnatam bhavati iti upakramat that upakrama the introduction is in 1 1 in mundaka upanishad so kasmin he bhagavo bhagava is हे भगवा इज संबोधन इट्स अ छांदस संबोधन सो कस्मिन्नु हे भगवा कस्मिन्नु विज्ञाते कस्मिन् विज्ञाते सति कस्मिन्नु विज्ञाते सति कस्मिन् दैट वस्तु कस्मिन् वस्तुनी विज्ञाते सति इदम सर्वम विज्ञातम भवती ओ भगवान आस दी स्टूडेंट टू दी टीचर से शिष्य इज आस्किंग दी गुरु ओ भगवा हे भगवा नोइंग व्हिच हैविंग नोन व्हिच मी बेसिकली इट्स अ 
सती सप्तमी सो वेन समथिंग इज नोन समथिंग एल्स बिकम्स नोन बट वॉट इज दैट समथिंग टू बी नोन सो इज आस्किंग क्वेश्चन वॉट इज दैट वेन नोन कस्मिन्न विज्ञाते सती इदम सर्वम ऑल दिस विज्ञातम भवती ऑल दिस विल एज दो बिकम नोन इज एज वेल बिकम नोन All of this will become known when something is known. What is that something? Iti upakramat brahmanayeva idam prakaranam. It has to be brahma prakarana only. Why? Because if at all something is known and something else, sarvam, can be known, then there is no need for any teaching. If one can know something. and through that knowledge he can know everything then then alone teaching is possible but if at all you say that you can know anything and through that anything you can know anything else also such is is not possible so what do we know in the loka in the loka we know that something is taught then that something alone and related entities can be known by that teaching there has to be sambandha between the taught entity and the known entity either there has to be aikya or there has to be some sambandha which also has to be taught me what is that sambandha kare karana bhava there may be kare karana bhava one of the sambandha prapya prapaka bhava that can be another sambandha so what is taught and what is known they have to be they have to be same or they have to be having some connection that connection also has to be taught what is the prakarana there now it starts with an opening statement which is a question by the shishya kasminnu bhago vidyate sarvam idam vidyatam bhavati and this similar context is there in chandogya shasto adhyaya there the student does not ask student who is his son the teacher's son does not ask but the teacher suggests basically inquires knowing the answer very well that he has not been taught to break the son's ego the father asks him whether your teachers taught you that in the gurukulam having known which everything else becomes known everything becomes known not everything else everything becomes known and the son is stumped he says how can such teaching even be possible no it is possible says the acharya pita who says that just like you know having known mrut every mrut karya ghatadi gata kumbha ityadi can be known similarly there is a teaching of sarva karana when the karana is known the karya becomes known all karyas of that karana becomes known similarly if you know the jagat karana then entire sarvam jagat can be known sarva jagat can be known have they taught you then having got such example of mrut mrut ghata ityadi he says yeah, it, it may be possible i do not know his ego is suddenly shanta upashanta and then he says that no i was not taught if they i don't think they knew otherwise you know i am such a brilliant student so ego is not still completely shanta it is still there and then bhagwan bhashyakara gives a concession saying that he ended up insulting his teachers but then it's okay because he just come back home and he does not want to go back so something some discount like that has to be given and we say that it's okay it's not a dosha he just come back home he wants to be at home <laughs> he does not want to go back and then he says that he says that or it can also be seen as nahi ninda nyaya so we can see it in a different manner we can say nahi ninda nyaya so even if he has insulted his teachers it is not to insult the teachers but because in the next statement you know that he asked his father to become the acharya so he says you teach me so why by, by saying that they did not know it is not an insult it is a place of oh you know so it is okay it is only to nahi ninda nyaya is nahi ninda ninditum pravartate 
अभी तो विधेय स्तोतुम सो द विधेय टू से दैट ओ यू आर द आचार्य श्रेष्ठ आचार्य देयर इज अ प्रेज ले अर्जुन आल्सो प्रेज इज कृष्ण आई मीन देयर इज नो अदर टीचर लाइक यू दैट इज नॉट ट्रू इफ यू लुक एट इट इफ देयर इज नो अदर टीचर लाइक कृष्ण एंड अर्जुन इवन विद सच अ टीचर when it comes to i think anu uh, gita uttar gita sam uh, somewhere he says that uh, later after the gita has been taught mahabharata is over later in a uh, you know time of relaxation uh, sometime you know uh, arjuna says i have forgotten everything that you have taught me on the battlefield uh, could you please teach me again and bhagwan krishna also says i do not remember what all i have taught you i'll teach you in a different manner so imagine this if there is no better teacher than krishna and arjuna did not get the knowledge proper then no teaching is possible no knowing is possible through any other teacher that is not true we have an entire sampradaya of teachers therefore it is all nahi uh, ninda nyaya also and it is all to praise the whoever is there in the context whether it is the deity whether it is the uh, acharya whoever it is it is all praise you know we have such even today we have such culture i mean there is no better than you we use all that in loka also let alone in uh, shastriya process it is all arthavada so we can take it in that manner so it is not really ninda there is no dosha there this is how we we can see and move on with the subject matter there so tame vekam janatha after that in, in that is a mantra which is later so what is that you should know That tam eva ekam janatha is the answer given in the shruti by the acharya to the student who has asked kasminu bhagve bhagavo vidyate sarvam idam vidyatam bhavati. So the question should be answered by this answer which was been given, which was which has been given later. So the answer may you know that atma should be the answer to the question as to. having known which something uh, having known that through which everything else becomes known everything becomes known that should be an answer to uh, sorry uh, to that question there should be an answer so let me repeat uh, blabbered a little so tame ekam janatha atmanam that should be an answer to the same question which has come up in the opening as to, as to when something is known that something is being inquired into is asked as to when that is known everything is known what is that to that question kasminu bhagavo vidnyate sarvam idam vidnyatam bhavati this answer tame eva ekam janata should hold because it is a shruti it is not that something has been asked and something else has been told the answer should fit the question iti upakramat brahmane eva idam prakaranam and since the answer holds good to the question as everything is known when this atma is known that atma cannot be jeevatma even if it is jeevatma that jeevatma which is known should be known as paramatma that is the upanishad rahasya but one who is knowing should not be knowing himself as a limited being so sharira when you said that is why the word sharira has been used atma has not been used by the puro pakshi saying that atma because atma is a shabda which is there in the shruti itself that atma is paramatma because it cannot be sharir atma who is limited so puro pakshi's perspective is not there of a sharira being limitless sharira means limited to sharira therefore that is the bheda the sharira limited jiva is always going to be separate from paramatma in the earlier sutra bheda upadeshat and prakaranat also there cannot be jivatma is the meaning there because jivatma is not being taught as to be known for knowing everything for knowing everything you have to know the karana of everything who is not this jivatma sharira so sharira is not the jagat karana the paramatma is jagat karana jagat sharira is or if you say sharira then it is not sharira as an individual sharira but it is jagat sharira जगत इज द शरीर फॉर हूम दैट एंटिटी इज परमात्मा लोन ब्रह्म अलोन सो ब्रह्मण एव इदम प्रकरणम नहीं शरीर ज्ञान सर्व विज्ञान संभवति नोइंग योर 
your self as being imitated by sharira and i i am not the sharira who is not going to free you at all at the most you can get a samadhi for a yogi samadhi is not going to lead to mukti their mukti is what knowing yourself as separate from the sharira will free you it will free you from body it will free you from body and multiple bodies maybe but not from meaning it will free you from uh, stura sharira and sukshma sharira in samadhi karana sharira will still pop up and this jnana may continue in the next the samadhi will leave sat samskara which will be a meghadhara amrita meghadhara which will wash away vasanas it may give another janma where one may be born with a samadhi anubhav itself during the birth one may not feel the pain because one may be in samadhi avastha there but having opened the eyes and then the samsara beginning one will still be having that samsarana there will be sukha dukha anubhava outside of the samadhi therefore multiple janmas multiple shariras also one may be able to withdraw from by samadhi and thereby sukha dukha bhoga one may avoid in samadhi but outside of samadhi one may continue to have janmas and sukha dukha bhoga so it is not going to be mukta avastha the mukta avastha is possible only by paramatma jnana as jiva jnana ni jiva as jiva so paramatma as jiva without bheda whatsoever when it is known giving away the upadis then alone there can be mukti this should be manana siddha also nahi sharira jnana sarva vijnanam sambhavati meaning what paramatma jnana deva sarva vijnanam sambhavati because sarva karana is not sharira jiva the sarva karana is paramatma tasmat prakranad api na sharira ityata na sharira kim na sharira jubva dyayatanam bhavitum arhati it is not possible that lokatraya adhara is sharira jiva but it has to be paramatma then further in that upanishad dwasuparna mantra is there so dwasuparna mantra there is stitti adana kriyas so there are there is stitti for one dwasuparna like the two birds so there are two suparna two birds sitting on a tree this is the simile given to jiva and parmatma so in this this tree sharira in a sharira there are two birds which two birds are there one is jiva jivaatma other is paramatma there are no real two entities but when the sadaka or a non non sadaka bhakta also prays to the other the other is immediately giving the phala beat in that bhakti also when the bhakti gives some phala not what has been asked that may not happen immediately it may happen in time but the sukha in bhakti that itself is a phala that is anubhava siddha to bhaktas they say oh i want to be dasa there is sukha in this seva so you do some seva you feel good you serve your parents you serve your uh, you know guru you serve ishwara there may be difficulty and pain in serving the karma will exhaust you but then the sukha in the antakarana that i have done dharma that dharma will lead you to punya and sukha that sukha is anubhava siddha thereby one knows that i have the one that i have served as ishwara and who is giving me sukha is different from me and since he is giving you immediately sitting there as a sakshi sakshi within the sakshi i mean the parmatma sakshi that parmatma who is a sakshi in each and every sharira sarva karma sakshi sarva jeeva karma sakshi who is there who is not only a sakshi to each and every karma of all jeevas at all times in all deshas but he is also phaladata karma phaladata and that karma phala is being given sitting in each and every jeeva this is the second word as do there is no second Bird also there is no second atma as though uh, 
second atma but it is uh, just like as though a bird in simile it is as though second atma so dwasupana iti mantre this chiti and adana adana is what adabhakshane the jiva is going to have karma phala bhoga because the karma karma karta is jiva not parmatma phaladata is parmatma not jiva so there is a karta and the data bheda karma karta and phaladata bheda is there the bhoga of the karma karma phala is also to the jiva so karta karma karta as well as karma bhogta is jiva there the bhogta is talked about because it is very clear that karma karta is not parmatma the bhogta is not going to be parmatma the bhogta is this fellow but there can be a doubt because both are sitting on a tree just like two birds are sitting if one of the birds is eating the other is going to join they may share they may fight for example sparrows do not eat together if one sparrow jumps the other the one who is eating will suddenly empty his place you know they will not eat from the same plate as though you know but the pigeons will eat together they may fight the pigeons will can eat together this is what i have seen anyway sparrows keep on jumping you know they take a bite they go elsewhere or if they are eating another one jumps in then suddenly this fellow will be scared, scared and he'll jump off so there may be differences there as to whether they eat together or they don't eat but then if at all there is there are grains to be eaten there is some bhoga to be done then the birds will eat so one bird is eating the other bird is not going to watch over but what does the mantra say the other abhichakashiti ekah bhungte karma phalam bhungte one takes adana karta the karma phala adana adana is eating eating is partaking one experiences basically one experiences as anubhava partakes of karma phala whereas the other does not just like one bird is watching over but not partaking of the food in the literally uh, literal birds it is not possible it may not be possible maybe some birds do we don't know i don't know at least but then if at all you can see the bird watching over and the that is why that example we may misunderstand that the birds eat together therefore these birds are also going to eat together no one is going to watch over the other eats so similarly here paramatma is going to watch over what you are doing what you are partaking and this bhoga karma phala bhoga if it is there there is no see this is an interesting thing okay karma has been done earlier karma phala is granted by parmatma now whether to partake of that is also with you look at the free will of the jiva it is not only karma that he is doing where the phala is not immediate laukik karma sam phala is immediate sam are not vaidhik karmas no phala is immediate there is an aparoksha anubhava there but there is also paroksha phala later now the circumstances which come about for every jiva they are due to the earlier karma now whether to do bhoga of those circumstances also with this jiva karta using his purusha kara the free will so if at all let's say you like sweets and sweets come to you somebody comes home and gives you a lot of sweets whether to eat those sweets that free will is with you you can say that oh this is we all know that unexpected some phala is coming in some somebody brought sweets you have not planned but the vasana is there that crops up then and you say that my purva karma may be there because of which i am getting that phala yes you are but whether to partake of that phala there also you can do tyaga a little tyaga total tyaga whatever it is let's say a person has diabetes now like sweets but then somebody has brought the phala uh, as uh, his earlier earlier karma phala in the form of sweets now whether to partake it or not this person has to think 
just because it is earned by earlier phala earlier karma sorry the, the phala has been earned by earlier karma it is it has come by prarabdha one can say it is by prarabdha it has come in but whether to eat or not if he has a question he can inquire into it that free will is still there to the jiva therefore this adana this sthiti adana abhyam this karma phala bhoga one who is doing that also be is being washed over by parmatma so the karma is washed over by parmatma the jiva karma the karma phala is given by the same parmatma and he is also watching over what do you do with that phala so it's interesting as to the ishwara's role is not over there he is watching over what do you do with that also not only with your karma but this partaking of your earned karma phala is also karma new karma so bhoga is also karma because there is bhuj dhatu there bhuj dhatu is kriyatmaka and although it is making you a bhokta not a karta but because you are a bhojana karta therefore also you are a karta because it is kartari trich trich pratya there is a kartari pratya so it's a so it's a never ending story what i want to show is that karta bhokta do not mean that karta is a karta and bhokta is not a karta bhokta is not a shuddha bhokta is also karta this is why the samsara continues you are never we are never going to be away from kartrutva bhava if we just remain a bhokta also the bhoktrutvam will enforce the kartrutvam to continue that is why jnana is separating out from both of these karta bhokta and bhojana kartrutvam also there so prarabdhay samarpitam swapuhu let it happen let it take place but as soon as you identify and claim you are in the trap again daldal mein phas gaya in hindi del se in a in quick sand very difficult to come out you hold on to something you will end up pulling that that thing also into the quick sand therefore the trap is being washed over set very well and being washed over by ishwara based on our own samskaras based on our own earnings of vasana so sthiti adana abhyam cha it's a hetu tritiya dvivachana sthiti and adana adana is this jiva is doing adana bhojana has is partaking of the karma phala but the other has sthiti other paramatma has sthiti sthiti is sthiti look at the beauty beauty of the dhatu this sthiti is from stha dhatu stha stha gati nivrttau there is no gati there the sthiti means this paramatma has nothing to do with it he is just just he just remains as a shuddha shakshi he is absolutely no business there and then further we will see what the uh, mantra says later but here in this context bheda is there between these two birds jiva bird and the parmatma bird the jivatma and parmatma are sitting separately they are not one and the same dwasuparna iti mantre uh, there is a typo here anashnan anyo abhichakashi iti anashnan not eating not partaking eating means they not literal it is not not partaking one who is not partaking parmatma who is anya ha kasmat anya ha this adana karta adana kartu hu anya ha one who is different from this adana karta who is partaking the karma phala this anashnan this it should be read as anashnan anashnan meaning not partaking of that karma phala parmatma is anya ha abhichakashiti he watches over he is a sakshi iti audasinyena this abhichakashiti shows that he is udasina he is neutral he has nothing to do with your karma phala bhoga he has nothing to do with what he has offered you also he has offered you because you have earned it so to all the jivas parmatma he has just offered he has no bias whatsoever iti audasinyena sthiti hi sthiti is there sthiti parmatmana nirdishyate this sthiti by showing anashnan anyaha abhichakashiti shows a sthiti he has nothing to do with he is gati nivrutta he has nothing with the karma phala bhojana there he is watching over he nirdishyate points out this mantra clearly shows that 
Now you are Anya. Among them there is this another who is Anya. This one who is one who abhijaya kashi thi. Tasmad Anya. Tas Paramatmana Anya. Kaha jiva ha shari ra. Now you are Anya. Pippalam swadvati. Not bhungte. Earlier I said bhungte. Bhungte is the meaning there. Swadvati. Swadu is karma phala. He enjoys that. But not every time does he enjoy. So experiences partakes of sukha dukha phala. Pippalam is the literal uh, in the uh, analogy. The birds are eating the pippala. But what is it? Swadu pippala is basically karma phala from the jiva's angle. It is adhanam shari rasya. Adhanam bhojanam shari rasya jivasya. The jiva is having a luha of karma phala. Ataha stiti adhana uh, stiti adhana bhyam. Hetu bhyam. Because one is having stiti paramatma and another is having adhana bhoga. Karma phala bhoga the jiva. Therefore, na shari raha dhyupvadhyayatanam api, uh, api tu param brahma evaiti siddham. So param brahma alone is the lokatraya adhara. Ayat, ayatana shari ra is not the ayatana there. Even in the mundaka, through and through, if you go in, and you will see that he is not the jiva shari ra, he is not the, he is the adhana karta, he is not the one who is ayatana for lokatraya. So that ends the uh, jubvad jayatanam uh, adhikarana. We look at the bhuma di adhikarana in the next part. Huh? So this uh, overshooting the time is uh, is a uh, regular. You can take it as granted. I uh, I I mean you can assume an apology. I may forget to apologize. It will continue uh, because it's a swabhav. Swabhav is to pravartate. He says Bhagavan Krishna. So Amna um, yadak samsiddham adi madhyan tavarjitam ananda ghanam apurnam atme jyoti rupasmehe om tat sat namaste. Thank you very much.